Uh, but most of the ones we go to or the phone calls we get are kind of in that realm where it's two, three, four, five o'clock in the day and they're trying to pull the unit down to 74, 72. They just got home and it's 96, 100 degrees outside. It's not gonna happen because everything in that home uh, is that temperature you had it set. That's kind of why I'm against I'm against sending it back too much when you're going to work. But the problem is, you know, you get home at five o'clock or five thirty, and everybody tries to bring it down to the temperature they want. Well, it's been sitting all day at seventy-eight degrees. It's going to be hard for it to get to seventy-five when it's the hottest part of the day at four or five o'clock. All right. So that's why I'm, you know, I wouldn't set it more than probably one or two degrees off of what you want just because it's going to be hard for that to compensate for what you're wanting when you get home, if that makes sense. Because everything in the home, so you set your temperature to 78, you come home at 5 o'clock, you want it to be 75. Okay, everything in the home, the desk, the furniture, the walls, everything is 78 degrees. So now everything has to be 75 degrees. It's not going to work that fast. It might change one degree every hour. Uh, just because it's so hot outside, it's so far behind that it's going to take a while to compensate to bring back up temperature. Now, when the sun goes down and it cools off a little bit, it'll do it, you know, fairly quickly. But uh, usually that's not the case. So I don't think you're having a problem there. Again, I would always recommend getting your unit maintenance uh, twice a year. Make sure you're ready to go. You're good to go. And if if the unit has a good temperature split, meaning the temperature, and this is something you can measure at home, the temperature out of the grill and the temperature going into the return is 15 degrees. That's kind of a good rule. If it's a 15 degree difference, then you're good to go. The problem is that when it's really hot outside, you're pulling in, you know, 85, 80, 85 degree air, possibly back to the return to cool back down to get back out. So. Um, some simple things to remember, I've seen this before too, front doors, shades, all that stuff on these really hot days needs to be closed. You need to help the system out as much as you can. I got home, when I was at home Sunday after church, I said we need to do some laundry. I said nope, we cannot run the dryer at 1 p.m. when it's 96 degrees. You know, we're going to add heat to the home, so that's something you don't want to do.